Man, I love good food. I love good music. I love great entertainment. And man, do I love my family. What's good, Swerve Nation? This is your man, Frank Farrells, and here is a moment with Swerve. So how do you know that God actually loves you? In the book of Romans, Paul gives very clear evidence of God's love. Romans 5, 6-8, it says this, For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So number one, God's love is not dependent on you. You see, God loved us just in the right time. Not while you were perfect, but while you were imperfect. And so number two, God's love isn't based upon how you feel. You see, our feelings don't always tell us the truth. Truth be told, we go through about 20 different emotions before high noon. So we're gonna need better proof than that something that doesn't change or flip as much as our own emotions do. We don't have to wait long because God already did that. He met us and that, that changes everything. Number three, God's love is proven in his actions. While we were running as fast and as far away from him as we could, he pursued us. Remember what Romans 5, 6 through 8 says about us? It described us as enemies, as sinners, the ungodly. And so number four, Jesus is the ultimate proof of God's love. You see, he had compassion even when he was exhausted. He loved when it wasn't expected or when it was required. He loved outside of his job description, his social group, and his family. He didn't just use empty words or rely on his feelings to show or prove his love for us. He did it in his actions. And the church say, you still need more proof? It's found right there in verse eight. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This is your man Frank Farrells. And that was a moment with work.